my friends, and thank you for rejoining me here in TNO, The Last Days of Europe, in which we're playing still as Vyadka. So last time we were hanging out, having a good time, expanding our country as best we can in terms of loot and increasing our industry, research stuff, and like that. You know, all the good stuff. But anyways, we must continue on right now. We're scavenging for loot. We are currently defending our lands in Krasnokamsk. Krasnokamsk. I can't speak Russian, I'm, I'm not Russian at all. But anyways, we're defending against the Aryan Brotherhood, which hopefully we can actually win. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, we do have a little bit of political power, but we've got to get through some comments as well. But let's see. We have low, very low popularity support. So I really don't want to do this. It's going to hurt our war support. But we're going to have to probably do this. Peaceful Unification Pledge. Uh, must be at least very low. Ooh, I don't want to do that. I want to increase popularity at least a little bit. Uh, decrease economic strength, increase popular support by a small amount, minor donations to the poor. This is one of the comments that we'll probably have to do. Minor donations, increase popular support by a small amount. I, we kind of have to do that right now. I really don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to do that, but we have to. There we go. It's low and slow. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? If it's low and low, that's okay. We could buy some more stuff. But I don't think has failed to follow up on a deal to us. Well, let's, let's go on just a bit longer. Oh, the game actually changed colors there. Very cool. I want to get more equipment. I don't want to trust him, but it's only 10 political power. Do we really need anything? We need more guns. It's only 10. Uh, I don't want to do it, but we could try it. We could try it. Why not? Free State of Magadan. Oh, cool. Let them kill each other. Let us defend very well. Scavenge for loot. Uh, is there anything else we... Oh, there's a couple other decisions. Prepare a raid. An ultimatum against from Comey. They're demanding that we hand over a tribute of loot. Oh, crudderonies. Not you, too. Oh, why is this in the beginning of the episode? We have how many days? We've got 12 days. Okay, we can wait. We could probably win within 12 days. That's good. Oh, God. This is not bueno, man. I swear to God. Oh! Why do you want everything from me? Cool. The enemy's defeated. Great. Now, on to cleaning up the corpses. Corpses. We get political power, stability, and we get guns. It's actually something we can really, really use. So, Comey... That's right there. I'm not really sure where they're going to attack, but I'm going to assume like right here-ish. So go ahead, get on up there, defend our lands, the risks of doing business. If you like to read this, go right ahead. You shall have them loyal servants, you'll have to make do. Oh, I don't want to lose political power. Oh no. <laughs> Skipper continues to talk, and the city of Majesty's aid is highly valued at this juncture. There are rumors of river pirates gathering downstream, along with the route that we plan to take the ship in. Your humble servant requests for more guards to ensure that the safety and success of this undertaking. The Emperor looked at him, incredulous. More guards would mean wrangling the hands of the faction to stop bickering, their bickering for once. His head throbs. He says, Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever, just lose political power. I, I, I want to see what happens. All I care about right now is defending my country against these evildoers. So, at least we got guns out of that victory there. And we do have 71% stability. So that's not too bad. Death of Prime Minister Field Marshal Plek. Thai Bon Song Kram. I'm going to assume he's like Siamese or Thai. Yeah, they're Thai. Terror for the sake of love. Okay, then. La oh, Raid on Vyadka. Raiders fought off. Another victory in the name of God and Emperor. Hey, more popularity support. Great. Alarm. Alarm. Screams rose above the din of the river, followed by splashing sounds. All over the scene where the crew was waking up. After a few gunshots up and down the ship, everything calmed down. The river pirates do not manage to do anything apart from making the guards waste but a few bullet cartridges. Come daylight, the vessel will continue on its way as if nothing happened at all. So we lost a lot of political power. Basically, we lost 90, but we did get more stability and popularity support. Or popular support. Same thing. Which is actually pretty good. That's actually... I wouldn't say it wasn't worthless at all then. Slow support, low support. Alright, could be worse. Are we dug in? That is my main question right now. We have five days. Really, four days left. Are they dug in? They are entrenched. They are max entrenched in some divisions, which is good. An ultimatum. We must decide right now cool we will not look down or back down so easily go to garbage land oh you're up there oh crap oh that sucks what the heck how, how, how are we supposed to know that it's supposed to be up there oh my goodness oh it's such garbage 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 get over there truckers ah oh, good job truckers we love you nice wait one out of 24 huh okay Oh, well, we can still take decisions. We can build new schools, research facilities, and industrial equipment, agricultural methods. Uh, prepare a raid against these guys. We are probably going to... Uh, if we could do it against Comey, we might do that. I don't see it, though. Yeah, I don't know. I want to play a little safer right now. I don't want to raid. 
Um, someone else immediately raids me. I want to raid these guys, but whatever. The Kostrama Pipeline, which looks really good for us. Uh, a couple other comments, too. Like, there was a lot of comments for me to play as different nations, like such as the ex-Soviets, probably the West Russian Revolutionary Front. I want to play as them, maybe the Revolutionary People's Council. I definitely want to eventually play as the Siberian Black Army. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to play as them sometime. Play as Italy. Play as Norway. Sweden. Spiel Germany. I'm going to play Germany probably a few times because, there's you know, the Civil War. You might as well get used to it. Uh, some dude. Uh, the drums beat heavily. You want to read that? Go right ahead. Local drama pipeline. Cool. Uh, so I asked you guys yesterday we should do the People's Emperor. Or should we do the Imperial Detachment? And I had the support from you guys to do the Imperial Detachment. The Emperor is a Russian, and just like all of us here, and it must be understood that that is enough. He is the one who must see the larger picture, and personal attachments will merely tie him down. Public visits will only waste valuable time, proving that he is in touch with the subjects which will only serve to drag him down to their level. The Emperor is above the people, and separate from them. A beacon of virtue and nobility untouched by the petty rivalries we have defeated the enemy. Great! Stability, guns, political power. <clears throat> Untouched by the petty rivalries and tribals of peasants and the vain scheming of the upper classes. A man who will look at an issue from all sides before finally deciding upon the best course of action. The empire will be an institution that commands respect, and the power of possesses will be distributed evenly with a just hand. This will how we will safeguard Russia against decadence and the destruction at the hands of lesser men, and how our future generations will be taught to live in complete harmony. Well, we'll see what happens. We lose political power for a year, get more stability, and production efficiency cap plus 10%, so that's not too bad. Hey, look, we have positive political power now. Cool. We could get that stuff maybe... We can't do anything here. Minor donate. Minor. Minor donations. We have one. We need to decide what we do here. And prepare a raid. They were just defeated. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. They might say yes. They might say no. And actually, with that raid going on, it'll be up here. So we best be ready. Good luck. Really. Really good luck. So before we do that, I want to double check over here. Trending 9.25, 18, 28. Oh, it's going up by quite a bit for industrial stuff. Nice power tools. Uh, well, we're down here. We're not even using hand tools. That's good. We need rudimentary manufacturing lines, cutting edge industrial equipment. Uh, I wish. Well, let's see. We can have agricultural industrial research new schools. So if we do power tools. You get more factory output, which would be nice. Faster construction speed, which is okay. We get research facilities, which we are currently on outdated research facilities. Modern research facilities would be really good. Uh, this is not bad either. Daily political power. Politicized academia. Well, that's not really great, actually. Cutting edge research. What else do we have? Schools. Basic literacy. Mm, that's not bad. And then agricultural stuff. Let's see. Basic mechanization. So that's not terrible. Uh, we definitely would prefer this. Mass mechanization. Uh, you know what, for now, let's get some more agricultural stuff. Why not? Cool. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Let's speed her up. We've got 28 army XP. Hopefully they don't get too much more organization soon enough. Uh, please get this quickly, 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 quickly. We tried this earlier. We we lost earlier. Hey, we have 57. Oh, we had 57 manpower. Okay, well, whatever. Come on. Come on. 82% stability. Very nice. Come on. One day, one day, one day. Good. Go, 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 go. Uh, they have to make the decision. What are they going to choose? They refuse tribute. Oh, God, no. Oh, it was down it's why is it down there? I thought it was going to be over here. Oh, come on, man. That's so garbage. That's such trash. I thought it would be up there. Maybe I should actually read where these buttons are at. I should probably read that. That's my fault, then. The raid... Alright, well, that's why... That's what I get for trying to be offensive. That's what I get. Big sad. Big sad. Uh, definitely use you. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, better research. Well, at least it was a quick loss. Could have been worse, I suppose. Industry, factory repair, speed free repair. I mean, that's not bad. Free repair, a cap, and growth. Max factories in a state wouldn't be bad. Mutually exclusive. That's a little bit ahead of time. Anything for guns? We have all this stuff research. Oh, we could get better guns. We might as well. We, uh, we can't really afford them. What about land auction? I don't know anything about this land auction. Combine operations, more defense, attack, ground support. We don't even have planes. I love support companies. If I could get them, I would. This looks really good. Combine operations, maneuver, warfare seems like it's more for tanks. Which I don't know if we'll be able to afford tanks. Plus 20% soft attack is really awesome though. Uh, let's see, adaptive, planned assaults. If we're not going to be using tanks, more defense, that's not bad. What about strategic theorem doctrine? 
planning speed, more entrenchment, this is like World War I stuff, I guess. Defense, max planning, organization. Ah, so it's either one of these two, this side or that side. I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. Well, I'd like to go with this side. Uh, that's not bad, 10% more breakthroughs is not bad. I'm going to go on this side. Combine operations. More defense, more soft attack, more ground support. That seems pretty good in my mind. Cool. Uh, did we already have a field marshal here? I thought we did. Eh, whatever, just excuse you for now. Well, that's okay. And in the meantime, Aryan, I wish we had got, gone to war with the Aryan Brotherhood again. I love the Aryan Brotherhood. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I could say that. Regardless, I did it. Who cares? Uh, cultured court. Oh, that looks really good. More political power, more stability. Uh, we're already pretty good on that. Let's go and do a hub of new trade. With the establishment of the river ports along the Vyatka, as well as trade connections and routes throughout Brittany and Kostrama, our city of Vyatka has swollen in size and new industrial factors dot the countryside. Goods are finding their places in the market and revenue is flowing nicely. We are prospering and every day we inch closer and closer to the old pre-war economy. The emperor is not a place of man, though. He and his government have put forth a radical plan to recast Vyatka as a trade hub. By rebuilding the roads, destroying the power lines, and expanding the wars, Trade and commerce will take root in Vyatka, cementing its position as the premier trade hub in the region. With this done, Vyatka will be the lighthouse from which imperial glory guides Russia. At its apex, the emperor will look forward for the day of the two-headed eagle soars again. Increased economic strength, poverty rate, society development will begin slowly as well, and get some more civilian factories. Awesome. Awesome, 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 even though we can only have one right now. And we'll get our first civilian factory in 1979, which might be outside the scope of this campaign. Ooh. 44. Oh, it's not good enough. Anything over here besides terror bombings? We have Imperial Detachment, which is fine. What's over this one? Kaya, elected Prime Minister of Japan. A modern Okrana. Cool. White Army Traditions. Cool. Economist's Touch, apparently. Well, let's let time go on. I wish we had more manpower. I wish we had more guns. Oh, that's big sad, I know. Howitzers. Actually, if we had more manpower, I don't know which one's the best. So, this was ad artillery. I like this, but this one just seems just better overall. We don't have the manpower for it, but I'd love to throw in more artillery here. Organization would actually go down by a little bit. El What's the difference between e elite infantry, regular infantry, or light infantry? Defense goes way down if you use light infantry over elite. Actually, elite has less defense. Slightly more attack. Slightly more organization, though. And uses more equipment than this. Huh. It's better for organization. Uh, defense is... I mean, it's not that much of a bigger deal. Just barely more breakthrough. Not really sure. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Increase taxes. Decrease our popular support. Can we really afford that, though? I really don't want to do that again. But it looks like we're going to have to. We'll do a cultured court first. During the time of Peter the Great, Russia's imperial court became known the world over for its both... Splendor Intelligence. Within the, the gilded places or palaces of the old Tsars, one could find the finest minds that our land had to offer, creating works of the greatest magnificence and beauty for their patrons. If we are to revive the spirit of the old empire, we must first reestablish its cultural heart. We will invite to this court poets, artists, musicians, and writers from throughout our territories, paying them generous sums of money to create compositions that will usher in a new generation of Russian culture. Court fashions will be formalized. Architects will be hired only to build new palaces that will replace the ones we currently have temporarily lost. Once more, the world will know of Russia's artistic greatness, and through it, they will see that the Emperor is her rightful ruler. Political power, stability, the good stuff, you know. Oh! Siberia's not having a good time. Oh, oh! Oh! Wow, Siberia's exploding. They're really exploding, wow. I would love more manpower. Oh, there's a little border war there. Oh, what's, what, what can we do here? Anything? We can buy more stuff. Has failed to follow up? Oh. Has he failed to follow up? Please don't tell me he failed to follow up. That's the only thing we can really do right now. Finding new agricultural methods? Cool. And? We got some more war support back, which is great. Let's get in for loot now. Close that, because we don't need to see that for now. Uh, let's save up our political power, because we need to speak on the radio. Definitely speak on the radio. It's going to be pretty important. Uh, good, 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 good. Yeah, I would love to buy that stuff for now, but we can't really afford it. Ooh, good, 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 good. Hey, ten factories. Not bad, not bad. Defeated them in a war. Mutiny ended as it began. Cool. So instead of 79, now we get a factory when? Oh, the game is lagging very hard. Cool. Ah, 1971 instead of 79. Not bad. Oh, uh-oh. 
Oh, here it comes, Madagascar. God, I need to play as Madagascar someday as well. The Schwarze Pest. Ooh. The Cultured Court. Very nice. And we'll do increased taxes because that's the last thing we can do. It would appear that unfortunately a large tax hike is in order. The majority of people will be opposed to such a move naturally, but given the current state of our finances, we have little other choice. An increased levy on goods across the board, with the exception of vodka, will be put on place to strengthen the Department of the State's Treasury, and our tax collectors will redouble their efforts to make sure that not even a single ruble goes unaccounted for. With all the hope, this increase in government income will stabilize our monetary situation to a degree that will allow us to reinvest the money into programs that, were, that will benefit our subjects, showing them that they were wrong to doubt us. Until then, however, we must bear with whatever discontent that this act causes among the populace. I know, I don't like it. I really don't like this, but we're going to speak on the radio to get a little bit more support. So it won't hurt us too much when we, you know, tax them more. Haha. <laughs> ah, we have no more loot. We need more loot, please. Please. Wow, we could really... Oh my god, we need so much manpower. Ah, uh, sucks. We only get 57 people a month, too. Traditional roles, minus 10% effective manpower. Minus from me basic mechanization. 50-80% poverty rate. Oh, man. Just just don't be poor, guys. Come on. Just don't be poor. That's how you do it. I mean, we got enough oil. Or fuel. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, right? Uh, uh, increased taxes. How's this looking? This is looking pretty good for industrial equipment, though. I'm liking this. 52. Uh, how does this go up, though? At a monthly rate of 4. Okay, it's a monthly rate. Wow, it's going to take forever to get to the next year. We better move as fast as possible. It looks like you guys are fighting each other. I like that. Oh, wow. They're not looking good in the north. Those religious... Was it, was it religious folks? Who is this? The Berezniki government. Iberia announces the creation of the Iberian Council, a useless organization for a weak state. Army professionalism, I wish we could increase that. Nuclear stockpile, oh, I wish we had nukes. We definitely need to help these guys out. Increase taxes, oh, that's not good. But still low, okay. But now, start other recovery. It may be unwise to begin singing of our own praises this early, but it appears that our recovery efforts have finally begun to pay off. Our economy is growing across the board, and new industries have even begun to spring up throughout the land. The road ahead is still a long one, though, and so far we have merely made it across the rickety old bridge at its start. Vigilance must be kept if we are to maintain our forward momentum, and the programs we have begun implementing must be slowly expanded so as to not uh, fall into obsolescence. If that can be done, however, our, then our nation's future will begin looking optimistic indeed. Before we know it, the double-headed eagle will flutter all over Russia once more. I'll to full recovery for God, for the Emperor, and above all, for the Motherland. So sad development. Poverty rate, yes! Even though we actually have a lot of stability now. We are a very, very stable nation. Which is a good thing. Oh, I want to raid, I want to raid, raid, raid. Please, someone raid me. Come on. Come on, fight me so I can re-raid you. Uh, Brotherhood. Just these two are the... Oh, three. Oh, down there, too. One, two. Order... Hold on. Order of St. George. How strong are these guys? Order of St. George would have a place called Gainey. Warrior order. Payments to the... Oh. What is that? Is that a rifle? Oh. Oh, St. George. Hey, St. George. How you doing? I don't know why I have that voice on right now. They have loot? I want your loot, St. George. The Levantine Kingdom. Will Arabs and Jews ever get along? Well, don't count on it. Damascus, that's cool. Move, boys, move. We gotta get St. George's loot. Hey, our current strength of our economy is moderate. Hey, look at that. That's new. Oh, no. A AD is dead. A day to remember. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, you guys are pretty much ready to go. Let's go ahead. Completed. Hopefully they bend over. We don't have to fight them. Because we could probably still win if we have to fight them. And they paid the tribute. Threats are sometimes needed to survive in the anarchy of Russia. That's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Industry. Um, we saw this earlier. <sighs> we already are at power tools. I'd like to come over to here. More factory output. 10%. Dockyard output. Doesn't matter. 10% more construction speed. Better resource efficiency again. I would love that, but... Mm. I mean, I love all of this, but... Oh, my goodness. Oh, we get a rate of four. Four, yeah, that's not bad. Basic mechanization. Monthly population minus 30%. Oh, no, we want to go mass mechanization. I can do more agricultural stuff. That seems like a good idea. But I cannot. Oh, I don't know. I guess we'll really try to help out. Ah, do the workers, why not? Workers are, workers are always good to help out, right? This group over here hasn't really done anything to us yet. 
So with AH dead, I'm not sure what's going to happen, actually. Start of the recovery, great! But let's go ahead and the eagle flies once more. The glory of the Empire has finally been recreated within Vietkel. From the Emperor himself to the lowest factory worker, everyone knows their role in the society. And faith in the monarchy has been restored. However, this is not enough. Russia is at a vast country, and ours is but a tiny corner of it. It remains divided between the corrupt and incompetent, its people suffering under the rulership of the undeserving. Until the double-headed eagle soars once more from the steep to the Arctic, our mission will not be complete. The most important day in our history since Vladimir's triumph return from exile is fast approaching. At this moment, we are closer than ever have been to liberating Russia from its suffering and restoring the Emperor to his stolen throne. Our armies stand poised on the border, ready to march against the unjust. All they is in order to advance. God be with us. More war support. Cool. Oh, it's lagging. I already pressed enter. Cool. Oh, man. We actually finished this part of the focus tree. Cool. And the German Civil War is on. The end of the Reich, surely. Ah, oh, hey, Drake. Ah, uh, what a beautiful thing. It is thus necessary that the individual should finally come to realize that his own ego is of no importance in comparison with the existence of the nation, let said by A.D. or A.H. 1933. All right, well, whatever. Whatever. You know, it is what it is. Ooh. <clears throat> My voice is cracking. Must be at least very low. Infrastructure. Invest in small... Ooh! We can buy guns! Hmm. More stability at the cost of war support. No thanks. Uh, what is this? Hold public speech. Does that, that give us more stability? That's it. That's not really worth it. If that's the case, I'm going to get some guns. We all need some guns where we're going, son. Now, I've heard that once this nation is in a disgusting civil war. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is so bad. I hope Burgundy wins. But uh, I, need, I will play some someday. I promise you that. But uh, this is disgusting. But this looks like a lot of fun. Ah, oh, there goes all the factions in Europe. The Arab League is still alive, and of course the Co-Prosperity Sphere, and of course the Organization of Free Nations, but... Mm, at this point, we might be able to go to war with other small Russian states. Maybe once we get the war focus tree, maybe? Chaos in Ostland. Oh, Reich divided. Oh my gosh, I wanted to play as Ostland before, but with seeing all this... The bombing stopped. Oh! <gasps> Burgund! Oh, everything has gone to crud. Oh, yeah! Our servitude is over. Time to conquer! Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. The Germans collapsed in a civil war and the bombings will not be returning anytime soon. For many people, this is a relief and it allows them to start rebuilding once more properly. However, in the halls of power, this is an opportunity to more properly deal with their enemies once and for all. Yes. Kashi disappears, causes Muscovine turmoil. The Reichsfeldtier can no longer hold. Oh my gosh. German sovereign zone. Oh, that would be terrible to be in. Von Dembach. Autonomy. Oh my goodness. A rural state. Language problem. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Chaos counts unruly Russian minority, disconnected lands, Volga Autonomous Zone. Oh my goodness. Handsome, I guess. State of legitimacy. Oh my goodness. Barman, Speer, Göring, the Bürgerkrieg. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Paris and Ostperis. Oh, hmm. Three realms. Purge the Rot. Oh, God. He sounds like so much fun to play someday. Oh! We have German Sovereign Zone down there, too. Rex from Sarah, Ukraine. Hans Speidel assumes control of Germania. Oh! the Oh! More trouble in Germany. Franco-Burgundian War. Oh, I love this. E Europe is falling apart. Huh. Who are, what is what up with Burgundy? Moderate wing. Russian exp... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, wait, England's on fire? Why, why is England on fire? Oh my god! England, you're on fire! That is disgusting. Please, fix yourself. Please, put that away. We have kids watching this show, please. Uh, military factory... Yeah, we could do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Land doctrine. Uh, does it say we're doing one of these? Oh, yeah, it is. Right there. Cool. Art oh my gosh. What do I choose for artillery? Do I go with... Howitzers? Oh, that's light SP artillery. This is just lightweight artillery. This seems like the most generic one. So this is what we have. This is what we have right now. This is better. Probably not going to make any of this. We probably can't even afford it. So just go with that. That probably seems like the best thing to do. Oh, and oh, expansion in Africa. Oh, what the heck? Poland! Hey, Poland's here! Authoritarian democracy, and they are very split. Uh, the Warsaw Uprising. Oh boy. English Civil War begins. Well. Oh well. Italy must be thinking, this is great. Great hidden heroes. 
Great minds of a generation working from the dark. Romania is still pretty big. Serbia is looking pretty Serbian. Formation of the Africa Shield. A worrying development. Cool. Military commander in Serbia declared war on the Serbian. Oh, Serb. Oh, I was still going to say Serbia. Oh, what the heck? Serbs rise up. Wait, was that. Hold on. Did I just see. Um. What the heck is going on around here? I'm not really sure what I'm seeing. Dernitz seizes Crimea. Of course, Dernitz, Dernitz would end up going to the Crimea. Where is this? The Veronica. Oh, wait, this is down here, is it? Is it? No? That's a star. Well, is everything happening? Slovak state. Seize lands. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Oh my gosh. The world is falling apart. Oh, I love this. Can I go to war with other people? Can I go to war with you guys? I'd love to take you out. Arr, I can't do it. Can't do it. South African. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. Norway's gone. Okay. Fatherland abandons a great fortress. South African war. No one starts at war, or rather, no one starts any census. Ought to do so without first being clear in his mind what he intends to achieve by that war and how he intends to conduct it. Cool. Dominoes shall stop. Oh, what is that? What, what the heck is this? General Berserk Letlin. I'd hate to be German right now. Mm hmm. I'd hate to. Actually, if anything. Oh, climb from the bit. Wait, we have a new focus? Cool. It's time we put our house in order. Oh my goodness, Imperial Russian Army. Call the Council. The Emperor's Authority. Despotism. Off remove officer infighting. Officers re reigned in. Meet with the leaders. Promises of a Congress. An uneasy peace. Fortifying our borders against possible invasions. Lessons from the past. A new age of war. Huh. Imperial Special Forces. More attack. Special Forces attack, I mean. Strength in numbers. Well... I don't know which one's better. Defense plan. I, I want to go with the defense plan first. Just because you never know what might happen. So, Imperial Russian Army. Russia's Imperial <clears throat> legacy is long and proud. Hundreds of years ago, the fighting spirit of the Russian people was made manifest in St. Alexander Nevsky, who was cunning subverted Mongol overlordship and defeated the perfidious Swedes in battle. In his wake followed many a great general. Dmitry Shemyaka, Mikhail Kutuzov, Pietorangol. Once upon a time, armies eclipsed Rome itself into their no in their number and ferocity and marched across Europe. Oh my gosh. And Eurasia, in the name of God, Tsar and Empire. <clears throat> Currently, however, we have a bunch of poorly trained conscripts without data equipment. A collection of old men who last fought a war more than 40 years ago, no modern vehicles or aircraft. Our army is, in the word, feeble. Oh my gosh. The world is going crazy. Certainly, it is a match for any of our regional rivals, but that isn't a high standard to live up to. It must be more, much more, if it is to conquer all of Russia and stand up to the German war machine when the time comes to reclaim the West. In particular, the debate on doctrine must be settled for good, unless we go to war without a concrete plan of attack in mind. Oh, this is this is getting wild around here. Cool. Oh, A and C. Oh my. Oh my goodness. The Boer, of course, the Boer Republic would try to come out of this. Herzog, oh, of course, Herzog would be here. Union of South Africa, and then you guys are down here. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Imperial Russian Army. That was really, really fast. I'm going to make sure we got defenses first because that seems like the most important thing to do. Uh, defense plan. Kutuzov. He was one of the greatest and most glorious generals in Russia's history. His leadership saved us all through the darkest hour of the 19th century when the warrior monger Napoleon Bonaparte invaded the motherland. As the French advanced, they found no score in their lands as town after town was put to torch by its own people to deny them shelter and supplies. After the Battle of Borodino and the burning of Moscow, the invader was left with no choice but to crawl back to Paris, utterly defeated with a trail of frozen, diseased French corpses behind him. Hopefully our own defensive operations will not need to be so extreme. Though we might have to resort to scorched earth tactics in a pinch, our first line of defense will be the line of solid, well-designed fortifications under or around our heartlands. We might not have the benefit of Germany's massive concrete industry, but Russia provides plentiful wood and stone for construction. Archaic, maybe, but anything that stops bullets will be worth the investment. Absolutely. All right, so what can we do here? Scavenge loot? You bet your bippy we want it. Low support, moderate economy, could be worse. Oh, look. Africa. Or at least Ethiopia, or Italian Ethiopia. Sarajevo. Yep. Good for you guys. Oh, my goodness. Who is that? Veronica Oslandic. Oh. Oh, he's got sunglasses. Ooh. Born into money. Interesting. The issue of land. He has his own focus tree? United Eastlands or something like that? A new Ostland. Oh man, what happens when the Reichs Commissariat Ostland has a civil war? Oh my goodness. Letland. That's the actual Ostland. 
Oh, Poland is easy. Poland. Poland. All right, let's go over. Call the council. The Imperial Council has been enormously helpful this far. Thus far, many of the Emperor's responsibilities have been delegated to the most able individuals in Vyatka, and the good advice is never far from his ears. It is thanks to them that he has been able to plant the seeds of greatness, free from any corrupting influences that caused the downfall of the last empire. The true task, however, is only just beginning. With reunification on the horizon, the Emperor needs all help he can get to forge and temper his plans for the liberation of Russia. This will be the first collective effort involving the entire Council. There is much need to consider beyond simply conquering the neighboring states. We still have a raft of internal issues to handle, the most prominent being incessant infighting at our officer's core. The council must move past their infighting and start functioning as a true ministerial cabinet to effectively solve the issues of the day. Good. Launch of the San Marco A. Uh, something Italian. The fascists of Russia perish in a farce. Cool. We can do military- Oh, we can do military ex exercises. What the heck? Well, good luck with that, guys. Nothing there. Oh, what is this? The Western Reclamation. We can actually do stuff here. Sort of. Military exercises, army XP gain, weekly war support. That's not bad. We're already at 50% though. Fortify the border. When removed, gets two land ports. Uh, I want to defend against Komi. I've heard they're very strong. Kudomir probably not going to be too bad. That's not bad over there to do as well. I want to really do the Vyatka border first, probably. Oh, everyone's killing each other now. I just want to get new workers and scavenge for loot. What do I have to do? Well... Wait, we have... Oh, let me see. Is it... Oh, we have... Oh, we can do raid some more people. St. George, do you have anything for us? St. George, give me your loot. I love St. George. George, George, George. It was Islamic Republic, but if I can beat up the St. George people, why wouldn't you, right? How long is these focuses? Is that like a week? They're so fast. A little bit of lag. Oh, it's only 10 days. That's awesome. The Welsh Revolution. Good luck. And boom. There we go. So, the Emperor's authority uh, put an end to assassinations. The Emperor's obstacle was, resembles a pact of greedy, recalcitrant children in the flower of the Imperial Army. Worse than their attitude to their profession, however, is a despicable, obscene and murderous attitude they hold towards each other. That, that so many talented sons of Russia would resort to the mortal sin of murder to advance their own careers and political genius is nothing short of our horrific. We're still the click-based nature of our military means that the friends and allies go to great lengths to protect one another. Combined with the shoddy nature of law enforcement in our fledgling state, these crimes almost always go unpunished. This stops now. We cannot permit the vile acts of criminality to go unpunished, no matter the rank or status of those responsible. Henceforth, the Ukraina will be directed to maintain a de team dedicated to ensuring that the officers adhere to the same laws as every other subject of the Emperor. Furthermore, there will be no exceptions given to officers for violation of the Emperor's laws. Murders will meet with their end in the hangman's noose, be they civilian or soldier. Finally, the Emperor and his council will begin a program to systematically tear down the informal cliques that formed among emigres during the years of exile. The, Russian em the Imperial Russian Empire will be united, individual and loyal only to God and to Emperor. Good. Good. Very good. Invocation. Uh, I'd love to do that, but this doesn't help us with the support, which really sucks. Scavenge bomb stuff. Yeah, no. None of that really helps you out. So, borders. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope we can defend our borders. That seems like a really good thing. We have more than enough army XP right now. I'd love to get more weekly wars, but, but we can kind of wait for that. Can we actually go to war with anyone, though? Uh, can we raid? Oh, we gotta wait. Oh, initiate raid. Go ahead. Give it up, son. They refuse tribute. Okay. The sounds of gunfire continue to resonate in Russia. I like this 100%. No divisions over there. They'll probably give them a day to, you know... Make sure that they, they know what they're doing. They have two divisions. We have six. Hey, combined operations. Cool, cool, cool. More organization. Thank you. We just got, though, more defense, more soft attack, and more ground support, even though we can't afford planes right now. That's okay. That is okay. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? How are we already half an hour, past half an hour in this video? Ah! The Algerian War. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Reign in the officers. The old Imperial Army was never truly professionalized, not merely in the sense of possessing a corps of professional soldiers. Discipline was poorly enforced. The soldiers lacked a sense of patriotism and loyalty, and the officer had little interest in fulfilling their duties appropriately. For poor discipline, compared to the fanatically loyal Japanese and the relentlessly drilled Germans, were undeniably a factor in their defeats by those nations in the past, and the Red Army carried on this shameful tradition. <clears throat> we have the duty to restore the Empire and save Holy Russia from Bolshevism, Nazism, and criminality. The Emperor recognizes this, as does the Council. It is time that the officer corps is brought in line, too. 
So, why do so many of them permit their men to act as undisciplined peasant levies? Why do they hold the attitude of petty kings, ruling over their subjects, privates, corporals, and sergeants? They are officers. They should re represent the best and brightest of Russia's military, serving as a shining example to their subordinates. The Empire, or Emperor, has, a, uh, has thus decreed that strict standards are to be established for discipline, proper sod soldier these conduct and military justice. I'm sorry, I'm butchering all these words. Grunts and officers alike will fall in line or be punished appropriately. You lose political power. Oh, officer infighting. Cool. Seems like good stuff. Seems like really good stuff. We have to be ready, though. Oh, they finally showed up. Okay. Uh, all we can do is military exercises, which is fine, but we're slowly winning. Okay, we're actually really winning. Oh my gosh, we're killing them. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Build new schools. Uh, industrial equipment. Great. Just in case, uh, I want to defend Vyatka. Please, someone attack me. Happy 1964, though. We finally made it to this year, my friends. 1964. Oh, bomb. Oh, what can we do here? Increase economic strength by a small amount. That might be worth a treasure. Oh, treasure. Look at that. Increase popular support. Decrease economic strength. I don't want to do that. I'd love to do this, but I just can't. I don't think we can afford that. Decrease economic strength. Oh. Increase economic strength by a small amount. I would love to do that. So I think we will. Even though I would really like to do more of this stuff up here, but we have to still do that. So instead, we should do liquidate state assets. A stronger economy. Hey, we have five factories. Wow, in 64. By the sometime this year, we might have another factory to use. Wow. Wow. Uh, Germany's still on fire. Oh, raining the officers. Good. The Emperor's authority. It's hard to deny that the autocratic rule in the stars tradition has, has its downsides. Nobody wants their interests to go unrepresented, and the global wave of liberalism and revolution was a harsh awakening for the Romanov family. Until now, Emperor Vladimir has ruled Vyatka as a somewhat informal kind of royal dictator, a little different in his own estimation from the various juntas and Bolshevik remnants around us. Reality is a harsh mistress, however. The Imperial Council is in agreement that the Emperor's own absolute rulership is necessary at this stage to ensure the rapid consolidation of our conquest and the efficiency of the apparatus of state. The Emperor will officially assume the power of or position of autocrat in an appropriately formal ceremony, solidifying his claim to his rightful imperial domain in Western Russia. At the same time, it must be made clear that th this is an emergency government, not a permanent solution to our problems. Right now, strong central leadership is needed to guide the ship of state and those aboard to safe harbor to the reunification. We get more party so popular support. We get some more political power, I think, because we're minus 42 right now. Oh no, we get stability. Oh crap, well, we get stability, man. Stability is just a number. Hey, Vorkuta. Uh... How are they killing each other? Uh, they actually, this book should probably gives it stuff. Oh, what is that? Russia's finest. Ooh, that looks actually really good. Vyatka General Staff Cat. Oh my gosh, we need to get that too. Begin the reclamation. Oh, it's going to take a while. Meet with the leaders. An easy piece. Yeah, that'd be good to do as well. Officers reined in. That's good. That is very, very good. Cool. Meet with the leaders. The emigre movement was never unified in its vision of for a restored Russia. Some of them weren't even monarchists. Now, those in Vyatka can at least agree on the restoration of the monarchy, if, not, if nothing else. The anti-democratic and militarist Razd, Ravs, the modern-minded and liberal cadets, the National Union of Solidarists, and many, many more factions all found their home here and promptly resumed the endless arguments once played out in cafes and emigres clubs all over the world. Violence has erupted between rival groups on more than one occasion. This is unacceptable. We're all Russians striving for the same goal, the liberation and reunification of our great homeland right now. Even though the star of the Vyatka is rising, our position is precarious. One mistake could see the end of our imperial ambitions. Yet, still, the emigre cliques are at each other's throats. Is this what we endured in nearly 30 years of exile for, to tear ourselves apart over petty ideological differences? The emperor cannot abide by this any longer. The leaders of these various movements must be called into order and personally put in their place. If our monarch cannot put an end to ide ideological infighting, no one can. Whew, and that is correct. Whew. All right, how are we looking? So we have, we're actually really good on equipment. Well, maybe not guns and, what is this, high explosives, anti-tank stuff. But, uh, hey, 68, not bad, not bad, not bad. 71% effective total manpower, not bad. We have a total population of 2.09 million, which really isn't that much. And boom, meet with leaders, an uneasy peace. With a number of carefully chosen words from the Emperor, the imposition of the rule of law and rigidly enforced discipline. If you want to read this, go right ahead. 
Standards for the military, we have achieved something resembling peace in Vyatka. The shouted words of anger in the streets and weapons being brandished at the site of provocation are no longer a common sight. Finally, and within ten days, apparently, with, with these focuses, the political debates in Vyatka has either been silenced or confined to more private settings, as is appropriate for our situation. It's not perfect, though. Those divisions continue to exist, and for all the skill at political wrangling, the Emperor cannot keep the emigre cliques in line forever. A more permanent solution to this political sectarianism will need to be devised at some point. It will not do to... Si do to succeed in our endeavor to unify Russia, only to fall in the same divisions that brought down the last empire. Hey, no political power. That's better than minus political power. People are just murdering each other all over the place. Holy cow. Uh, see, low support, moderate support. Uh, can we get more than just that, please? Thank you. Oh, we need more political power. Uh, we need more land forts. Do we have land forts all around here? No, we don't. Oh, I got two forts there, there. So it's literally just on the border. That's fine. It's not bad. That should definitely help us out when we need to defend for realsies. Looking good, looking good. Research is looking good. We might have a better howitzer soon, which would be very nice. And now we have an uneasy peace with more political power and stability. Hey, great. Kingdom of England defended the position from in other England. Government prevails in the English Civil War. He looks crazy. All I cannot go, go out. It is only dim. Uh, lessons from the past. Strength in numbers. I'll probably go with this. Imperial Commandos, though. I don't have any special forces, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Vyaka General Staff Academy. One of Russia's greatest hindrances in the Great War was the Officer Corps. Often ill-trained, often ill-disciplined, and cowardly, truly talented officers were hard to come by in Russia. Combined with their general reputation for inflexibility, brutality, uh, and politicization, Russian officers were the laughingstock of Europe. For every wrangle, skilled and loyal, there was a cold shock, self-serving, utterly undeserving of his rank. Our current officers, despite their insistent infighting, are at least loyal to the dreams of the Empire. Sadly, many are passive prime. For all their loyalty, we cannot say for certain that they will be with us for much longer. Their martial aptitude could remain sharp until their dying days, but that means nothing if that does not pass on to the next generation. They might grumble at being forced into the classroom by being put in charge of cadets rather than soldiers, but our new General Staff Academy needs their wisdom and experience to succeed. We shall have our very own sand horse right here in Vyatka. That looks really good, though. Right, so what can we do here? Uh, military exercises, which is boring. That is fine. Actually, how are we progressing? We're doing... I like seeing all this green. Double green here, 72 out of 240. I wish it was better than that, but you know what? Whatever. And we got some howitzers. Awesome. Do we get better howitzers? Uh, we could. We could try that. Yeah. Might as well try, right? Oh! Now here's some serious action going on here. Outdated equipment and production. I like it says outdated. That's actually really good. Um, I, this is new. Yeah, this is new. Uh, lightweight artillery. Yeah, there you go. And now we shall do Russia's finest. No, which one should we do? Land doctrine? What do you think we should do? Should we do lessons from the past? Or should we do a new age of war? Let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much all the time for that we have today, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will go to war, hopefully, with other Russians. Because Serbia is looking crazy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.